Hi, welcome again. In this video we are going to uh, show you uh, additional features of Gorilla Player. Uh, so, so far we have covered the uh, inline uh, attribute changes. So remember if we uh, modify these values here uh, and we save, we get instant uh, preview of those changes okay so what happens if we need something more complex because this is uh, basic stuff for for example screen right um, so let's move to the my people .saml file here and as you can see here we also have inline attributes here but uh, also we have uh, something interesting the binding here and uh, we have the custom view uh, defined for the view cell. So let's start by uh, covering the, con the content view part. And remember that Gorilla uh, is watching for changes on this page. I will open the template. All right, let's get rid of this. Um, and as you can see, Gorilla Player is not uh, watching this file that's because it is a content view it's not a page okay um, but it doesn't mean that it won't continue uh, refreshing the changes on the uh, page that is currently being watched so let's show that by um, changing some values here I don't know let's put, put three all right and let's change these two once again red okay so as you can see I am changing the template all right but Gorilla is still watching for changes on the my people.xaml file okay um, so uh, I want that you notice here the bindings okay and also that we have uh, styles that are currently being used. So what happens with the styles? Okay, I'm, I'm going to restore the, the original design because that red thing was ugly. Um, and let's move to the app.xaml file. So again, this is an application. It's not a page, so Gorilla won't uh, watch for something that can watch can be watched um, he's still on this file on my people .xaml. and I want to show you that uh, here we have these resources the color resources that are being used here on the template and what happened if we replace those okay so we have already made this for the sample I will just copy and replace okay save and voila you have the changes all right that uh, are uh, previewed so again Gorilla is still watching for the file let's open the file again the file uses the list and the list uses the custom view and the custom view which is this one okay has the styles which also uh, uses colors okay so you have the whole cycle here covered uh, in terms of styling uh, with uh, Gorilla Player okay so if we change any of these oops uh, if we change any of these that uh, should also work I don't know let's put something weird here okay so uh, I made the the height uh, more prominent just to show you that if we if we change the styles and the styles are being used by the template that also will be reflected on the preview which is very cool um, next thing I'm going to show you on the next video is how to feed uh, the list 
with uh, data. Okay, so see you next time. Bye bye.